Seven years ago, our middle child, Gary Lichtenstein, uh, was diagnosed uh, with a brain tumor. He passed away October 1st, 2003. Gary was 24. While Gary was alive, he asked us to start the process of finding a cure for brain cancer. We decided when he passed away to honor his life instead of to mourn his life by dedicating this foundation in his name. Our mission is to advance scientific research and to support uh, patients and families that are fighting this devastating disease. The first thing I say about brain cancer is that it affects an organ that defines us as human. And so it can be a very uh, frightening and devastating diagnosis. I was diagnosed with brain cancer in September of 2006. When I was diagnosed with a brain tumor, I um, obviously was very devastated. Young people are getting diagnosed and you know people don't even know about this. Our goals are to raise money so we could grant uh, the best researchers in the world uh, for them to be able to find the cure uh, as quickly as possible. Voices Against Brain Cancer program is a very promising program that's awarded grants so far to a variety of institutions and a variety of researchers. I was fortunate enough to receive a grant from them which has really enabled us to get this trial uh, off the ground. This kind of support, I don't know that we would generate the data that would allow us to go into the clinic um, and to begin to really explore um, how we might help patients. We raise funds through our main event, which is called Sounding or for a Cure. Gary was the impetus to, to all of this. Music was very, very important in his life. We created uh, the Courage Award, which is given to brain cancer survivors that are battling the disease very courageously. Ann Rosselli Bernstein, she was diagnosed with brain cancer in January 2003. She has been in remission for five years. This is the face of brain cancer today and survivorship. Gary was all about courage and uh, it's, it's something that it became very important, it has become a very important part of uh, what we do because it brings a lot of families together and it, uh, it creates a lot of unity within our brain cancer community. The single most important ingredient is hope. In a point of fact, an ever-increasing minority of patients with glioblastoma are surviving the tumor. Our biggest asset is our uh, medical advisory board. It consists of what we consider today the top researchers of the world. My role has been to uh, advise voices in terms of grant applications, so we have a grants process. I was aware of the contributions of Voices Against Brain Cancer, believe in their mission, believe in the approach that they're taking, believe that they're making a difference, and wanted to contribute to that effort. Our midterm goals are to work with these researchers to create the best quality of life for patients. If there's anything I could do to make it easier on you, and people have said that to me, and that made me feel better, and it makes me feel better being able to say it to someone else. Unequivocally now, there are patients who survive from diagnosis and never, never relapse. Yes, it's a, it's a very exciting time. There's more and more patients who are living longer and longer on the good end of the survival curve. We will triumph over problems medically and emotionally. The cup is half full, not half empty. Voices Against Brain Cancer need your help. I need your help. Life is not about how long you live, but it's how you live life. And Gary was 24 when he passed away, but he'll, he'll live forever. And he'll be the reason why we're going to find a cure for brain cancer.